A carbon neutral Ireland can be a greener, more pleasant land, a country filled with jobs and renewable energies, as you've alluded to, green technologies, research and development and renewable transport systems that enhance our communities and improve our health and well-being. Currently we have imports of fossil fuels of about 6.5 billion according to the EPA. Our current fossil fuel based economy is instead delivering shorter lifespans, negative health impacts and unhealthy obsession with the combustion engine and a fuel bill as I said of 6.5 billion uh, to the Irish um, uh, economy each year. This is a massive, massive drain on our balance of payments and a huge waste of our public uh, money. Oil prices are currently low in historical terms, but we know from the early 2000s that this will change again after an extended period of economic growth, as we're currently seeing in Ireland. And even then, if current, hin it, it, uh, current hints at production controls from OPEC uh, prove to be founded, Greenhouse gas emissions are almost always found accompanying other forms of pollution. So car emissions are coupled with dangerous levels of particulate matter. Power plants release lots of different types of air pollutants. And we are only now learning the true effects of marine and aviation air pollution on human health. Changing the way we organise our society is not a burden. It's an incredible opportunity to address uh, many issues. A more communal approach to energy and to transport can contribute to a more cohesive and active community spirit across the country of Ireland. We are seeing across the world now the dangerous effects that increased carbon dioxide is having on the marine environment, as in the um, coral bleaching down uh, on the Great Barrier Reef. Um, Climate change mitigation is the ultimate uh, in-risk assessment. Uh, one universal truth we have learned throughout the process of learning more about climate change is that its effects can never be fully anticipated. Currently, the ratio of spending on cars versus that on active transport, uh, for instance, cycling and walking, is dangerously skewed towards the car here in Ireland. Ireland does not have some special circumstances. A dispersed population and lower densities, but this cannot be addressed by adding to the problem with uh, government investment. Sadly to date, your colleague Minister Ross has shown no appreciation of this fact and no intention of amending this long-standing policy. Despite progress, our energy model remains hopelessly mired in some of the oldest, dirtiest and least efficient methods of energy generation going forward.